On Sunday, 21st February, Samsung made a big announcement. It launched its S7 series smartphones in Barcelona at its unpacked event. Samsung's cutting-edge technology and innovative ideas has made it one of the top manufacturers of phones in the world today. Hi, I'm Badekila Pradeep and Samsung's new launch, Galaxy S7 Family is the phone of the future. It's amazing, outstanding, out of the world and fantastic and this and that. In fact, at the end of the day, just another smartphone. This launch by the Korean giant is slim, sleek, stylish or simply put, just like the last one. The major difference between S6 and S7 is that S7 has curvy back edges. Uh, they call it the 3D glass. I wonder why. So, next time you go to a movie, you can boast to your friends that you own a 3D glass. Uh, but what's the use? Samsung says it has a better grip and looks sleek, but not convincing enough. You know what guys, we have nothing against Samsung at all. But its so-called innovations are not able to strike a chord with customers, that is us. Mainly because of the heavy price tag those phones come with. And they claim that they have premium features which I don't know how much it matters. Even after telling you so many things about Samsung's new launch, if you still want to know more about the details of the features that it offers, here you go. S7 and S7 Edge will come with an octa-core processor, one-touch fingerprint sensor, Super AMOLED display, QHD resolution, dual SIM, 4GB RAM, 32GB inbuilt memory, expandable up to 200GB and IP68 rating which makes it both water and dust proof. An area Samsung has not had much success in. What makes S7 better from the previous models is the camera. It comes with a 12 megapixel rear and 5 megapixel front camera. While it has reduced the megapixels, its dual pixel technology would make it still a better camera according to Samsung. Apparently, it is the same technology which is used in Canon DSLRs. This enables the phone to focus at least 80% faster and allows it to capture sharper images. Only if your Samsung phone doesn't hang. Major difference between the S7 and S7 Edge is the display and the battery size. S7 comes with a 5.1-inch display with 3000 mAh battery and S7 Edge comes with a 5.5-inch display and a dual-screen Edge plus 3600 mAh battery. Do we have a choice but to compare the S7 family with the S6 and its members? Well, we don't. Samsung seems to have learnt a lesson from its earlier experiences. Expandable memory has come back and a better battery size is also the area that it has improved in. Dual SIM is also a little attractive, but nothing much is made about the phone except that it has gone a little curvier. See, we still don't know how much Samsung has worked hard on to get this phone out with the new features and all that, but the model as such has worked hard on its curves, that's why it has better curves. Will it get the attention that it is asking for? The main question that we have right now is when is it going to launch and what's the price tag that it will come with? According to the news that we have, March 11th is the date it will be available in several countries which we don't bother about. What we really want to know is when will it come to India? According to the news again, it says it will be available in India very soon. And the price? You are in no luck, my dears. It will still be cost around 50 to 65,000 rupees according to the variants that you want to choose. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You have the links below in the description.